Hello again, Archons, and welcome back to Keyflux vs. the Keyraken. This is episode 3. Yay! Let's continue the exploration of this Dark Tidings box. Right, don't be alarmed if there are some cuts in this video. I'm expecting a couple of deliveries. Uh, and uh, I have my four year old around here who's a bit sniffly, not feeling so well today. But she's happily playing right now, so she's allowing me to record this video. But I will definitely go take care of her if she needs, of course. I'm trying not to be a horrible dad. I want to be a good daddy. Okay. Anyway, let's see what this deck has to offer. So, what have we got today? The consistently mousy vendor. Mm. Shadows, Logos, Star Alliance. Ah, a nice selection of houses. Here you go. This is it for your enjoyment. With a cool Archon card. It looks like a, a sneaky vendor. Yeah, consistently mousy. Hmm, yes. I know many vendors who are very curious to know what we're doing and that their product might interest us and blah 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 blah. So, will this vendor be match for an angry Kiraken? We shall see. Mmm, I love the smell of fresh cards. This one's pretty good today. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Let's see. Mutagenesis Researcher. So we have announcements. Ah, that always makes me happy. Biome Discovery. CR Officer Hawkins with a draw. Ooh, that's good. If I can bump this guy back up and then play him repeatedly, that's gonna be awesome. Forging an Alliance. Hydro Cataloger. Cool. And Theory or Conjecture. Alright, that's a good start. I like that. Well, I guess playing this guy on the first turn without any non-Star Alliance cards is a bit of a waste. But that's a pretty solid hand to begin with. So... Yeah. I think, although maybe let's let's archive stuff before we lay down some stuff on the board. Let's use logos to archive and see what we got, because then we can play hydro cataloger and then next turn do the biome discovery to raise the tide and then archive the top card of our deck. So yeah, let's go on the exploration way instead of just laying down the, our hand. But then again, the goal is to defeat the Kiraken, so having some stuff on the board could help in that. Ah, I want to play it in a, in a fun way. So, let's go with Logos. Just play the two cards. Alright, so Hydro Cataloger. Gain one Ember. Yes, I'm Daddy! And then, theory or conjecture, let's archive the top two cards of my deck. So we are going to archive a Gas Pipe Maloon and a Bilge Warden. Neat. Okay. And then we draw two cards. Uh, Isotropic Core. Ah oh, yeah, I like this card. It's been... It's quite useful. I've discovered in the first deck that I got that... Uh, Gaining Hazardous 1 can be pretty nasty in the right setting. Okay. And the Kiraken comes at me with his three cards. Primordial Reap Archive 1 Adventure card. Here it begins. Ascending Jet. And the Evil in the Ranks. Okay. So, a pretty low key turn. I have to say, the Kiraken reaps and archives one card. Uh, 
Okay, my turn. Okay, I think I will go Star Alliance, because in my archive I've got Bilge Warden, Gas Pipe Maloon. Yeah, let's keep the archive there and then go with Star Alliance. Okay, let's uh, begin with. Uh, let's see, do I do Biome Discovery first or CR Officer Hawkins first? Hmm. I don't think it really matters. Let's go CR Officer Hawkins and then draw a card. Ooh, zap! Okay. Well, that's a bit silly because then I'll mean, uh, that'll mean uh, that means I'll have to blast one of my own if I want to play that. Oh well. Then let's play the Biome Discovery, gain one Ember, and raise the Tide. And because of Hydro Cataloger, I archive the top card of my deck, which is another Bilge Warden. Alright, got two Bilge Wardens. Then I will forge an Alliance, just gaining one Ember and not forging a key. I'll play the Mutagenesis Researcher, and I'm going to zap CRO Officer Hawkins, I guess. Yeah, I don't think it matters. Okay. Then we have a Prof Garwin. A Seeker Needle with a damage enhancement. Interesting. Another theory of con or conjecture with a pip announcement. Oh, that's good. A techno babble. Yeah, that's pretty neat against the Kiraken. That will do some work. Okay, so I think a Logos turn is in order next turn. My little four year old is singing next to me. Mm. Ah! Alright, uh, time for the Kiraken. Four cards. Lashing Tentacle. Crimson Churning. Gain one Ember. Deal one damage to each of my creatures. If the tide is high, the Kiraken archives one adventure card. Alright, so that's CR of Sir Hawkins dead. Uh, Mutagenesis Researcher one damage. And then this gets archived. There we go. Tenacious Arm. And. Another primordial. Ugh. Yikes. The Kiraken reaps and archives two cards. Oh boy. And then uh, the Ascending Jet uh, will give the Kiraken's creature with the last power three plus one power counters. So that is going to be. Uh, let's make the Tenacious Arm. Bigger to deal with because that's the steel that's annoying. Okay. Oof. We're going to suffer. Okay, my turn. So we can. Can dish out some logos. Um, or we could go with Star Alliance with just the one card. I mean, we could, yeah, deal damage, to kill the Lashing Tentacle, and then stun the Tenacious Arm with the Techno Babble. Or we could go Shadows, and then there's a Seeker Needle that could deal a damage. And then a Mug to finish it off. And then I can... I could play the Gas Pipe Malone. Uh, if I wanted to get my Archive back into my hand, and then I would get a solid Logos turn next turn. Hmm. Then here I would gain an Ember as well, which is not a bad thing. Yeah, okay, let's... Uh... Don't know if it's worth getting my Archive though. Because 
guys but Maloon. Let's keep gas pipe Maloon in there. And then we'll get the archive when it's time to play Logos. Okay, let's go with Shadows. So let's play Seek and Needle, dealing 1 damage to the Lashing Tentacle. And then Mug, gaining 1 Ember. And then deal 2 damage to this to finish it off. And deal 3 damage to the Kiraken. Okay, and that is my turn, and we draw two cards. A Bouncing Death Quark, yay, that's gonna be handy. And another Seeker Needle, oof, two Seeker Needles. That could do some work, most definitely. I'm liking this deck already. It's got tons of archive, it's got some fun artifacts, it's got two Seeker Needles, yes. So far, so good. La good potential. Okay, the Kiraken. Uh, so, one, two, three. Plus the monster archive. Alright, uh, Devour Hole. For the remainder of the turn, the Kiraken gains Skirmish and prey the least powerful creature. It fights, then readies. Okay, well, that's that much. Well, it will archive anyway, because only you have one creature and. Play so it fights and then it kills my mutagenesis researcher. Okay, and then readies. Then uh, preter natural will. If the tide is low, heal six damage. If the tide is high, I gain three chains. There we go, three chains for me. Then a lashing tentacle. Behold this grandeur. The Kiraken gains one ember for each creature I control that has a house with a neighbor. Nope. Preternatural will. The tide is high. I gain another three chains. Six chains. Aye. And a shield arm. Okay. Then there's no more uh, creatures to fight, so the Kiraken has to reap. Um, and archives another two cards. And then this will reap and steal one from me. So hold on. Gain one ember and then steal one. Okay. Ooh, 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 yeah. So now the Kiraken is at six and will advance next turn. Okay, uh, I think it is time to go Logos and uh, make use of that Bouncing Death Quark. Yep. Okay, let's go Logos, pick up my archive. And let's do some damage. So first, uh, let's play the Isotropic Core. Gain one Ember. Let's play the Theory or Conjecture. Gain one Ember. Archive the top two cards of my deck. We have an armor drone and cement shoes. Oh, uh, yeah, I got uh, the ember from that, yes. It's a cool and on theory or conjecture. I really like that. Okay, then we play Bilge Warden. If the tide is high, my opponent raise the tide. Well, the tide is high for both of us in this case, so nothing happens. Another Bilge Warden doing the same thing, a Prof Garwin. Um, and then let's play the Bouncing Death Quark. So let's destroy an enemy and a friendly creature and repeat as many times. So I guess we'll just repeat three times. Destroy everything. One, two, three. Bam. One, two, three. And deal 9 damage to the Kiraken. 5, 8, 9. Okay. So far we've made more progress against the Kiraken than any of the games before. So this is good. I feel good about this so far. Okay. 3, 4, another biome discovery. And a booby trap. Share the chain. All right. Mm -hmm. Seems to be quite an efficient deck with the biome discoveries. Yay. The Kiraken advances for six. 
lowers the tide. Uh, it gets an advance marker. Okay. Three cards coming up, plus the archive. Zealot Revelation. Shuffle the adventure discard pile into the adventure deck. Then the Kira can archives three adventure cards. Alright, so let's see. I've got uh, four cards coming up after that. Alright. Shuffle time! Ah, oh, but from those cards, some of them were the archive that should not have been shuffled. Ah. Yeah. Well, ultimately, I don't think it really matters that much. It's not like I'm playing a tournament or anything. <laughs> One, two, three, four. All right. Then, uh, Devour Hole. Skirmish and Predator is powerful creature. All right, that does nothing. Defend the Kirakin. One Ember for Kirakin, and he gets warded. Oof, good timing for destroying everything. Ascending Jet. And Defend the Kirakin. So, another Ember, another ward. Oof, no creatures. Well, they might have been in the Kaza Shuffled, who knows. Anyway, the Kirakan reaps and archives two cards. And then, yep, yeah, that just does nothing. The Ascending Jet has no target, so yeah, it's fine. Okay, my turn. I forge a key for six. And therefore, I destroy the primordials. Yeah! Okay. So, we have... Uh, let's see. In our archive, we have armor drone and cement shoes. So, there's no creature to target with cement shoes. There's no target for booby trap. So, might as well go star alliance to make some ember. I mean, I could play Gas Pipe Malone, but I guess Raising the Tide would be good with the Hydro Cataloger, because then I archive a card. In any case, like, all of it is kind of a waste. But uh, let's let's keep archiving. I've got, I've got a bit of time. So let's play Biome Discovery, gain one Ember, Raise the Tide, and archive the top card of my deck. Which is a Scowly Caper. Yay! That's very good against Kiraken. Scowly Caper does a great job. And then a Techno Babble just for the Ember. Okay, and that is my turn. We draw two cards Osteri Seaborg and Vespilan Theorist. Alright. The Kirakin comes at me. Crimson Churning. One Ember, deal one damage to each of my creatures. If the tide is high, the Kirakin archives one adventure card. Titanic Maw. Skirmish, Prey, the most powerful creature. Tenacious Arm. Drag to your doom. Purge my most powerful creature. Okay. <laughs> Shield arm. Okay. The Kiraken will reap. Then uh, the Ascending Jet will give plus three to Tenacious Arm. And uh, this Ascending Jet will give plus three to that uh, same. No, let's just give it to the shield arm, make him a bit more beefy. Uh, so that destroys this ascending jet and lowers the tide. Okay, and then at the end of the turn, I control no creature, so I destroy Titanic Maw. Alright. Okay. Reasonable turn, but I do need to raise the tide, otherwise the Kirakan will advance. So, uh, now we can make use of our shadows, so might as well 
get my archive back and let's do this okay let's play another seeker needle play gas pipe Malone. uh play booby trap just for the ember because there are no creatures that are not on a flank sadly um oh but hold oh but i would have killed my scary caper if i had played the booby trap so yeah that's fine let's play scary caper over there uh, let's play Cement Shoes, gain one Ember, deal two damage to the Tenacious Arm. Okay, and then use the Seeker Needle to deal one more damage to the Tenacious Arm. Okay. And then I will spend two Ember to raise the Tide. And archive the top card of my deck. Uh, Science of his sucking can. Yes. Okay. Three. Three Butterfay, another raising the tide, and Francis the Economist. Lots of tide raising mechanic in this deck, which combos really well with the Hydro Cataloger. I like. But only provided the opponent raises the tide as well, otherwise once it's raised, then it's kind of raised. Ho however, that said, we have the two Bilge Warden, which does switch the tide, so I think it's it's got the potential for working pretty good there. Okay. Kiraken. We have a Whirlpool Eddy, gaining one Ember. We... Uh huh. Uh, okay, then we have Behold this Grandeur. I do not have any creature that shares a house with one of their neighbors. A grappling tentacle captures three Ember. And a preternatural will. The tide is high, so I gain another three chains. Yay, back to six. Okay, uh, the key rake and reaps. Just for one ember this time. Then uh, the tenacious arm reaps. Uh, steals nothing because there's nothing to steal. Shield arm reaps. And the ascending jet uh, will give the Kirikin's creature with the lowest power 3 plus 1 counters, so that is Scarly Caper. Alright, that's a big Scarly Caper. Okay, that is the Kirikin's turn. Okay, uh, which creature shall we destroy with Scarly Caper? Mm -mm. I think I'd rather have my Ember... Well, I don't need it right now. What will I play this turn? Let's see. Uh, I have a Science of Fissure King Can. I guess Pipe Malone. I guess, yeah. I could burst the Shield Arm so that then Malone can fight the Tenacious Arm. But that's considered making it easy for myself. So... Hmm. Well, I think I will go with uh, Shadows nonetheless. Uh, but... Um, yeah, let's... Let's not... Well, the decision is not from the Kiraken. It's... Well, yes, technically it is from the, Sk from the Kiraken. He controls Scarly Caper. So, let's make it destroy the Grappling Tentacle. That pops the ward on the Kiraken. Okay. Alright. So, I go with Shadows. I play... Francis, Freebooter Fay, Raise the Tide. 
Um, so I will use gas pipe alone to fight the shield arm. It captures one from its own side. And then I destroy my gas pipe maloon. Then I've got my seeker needle to deal more damage. Uh, so I guess I will deal two damage to the tenacious arm. There we go. Okay. Then I can try to destroy it next turn. Okay, I draw two cards. Grand Alliance Council with a capture. Haha, <laughs> nice. And uh, Embervac, another card, tide raising card. Yay. So well, I think the next turn is definitely going to be Star Alliance. Good, good, good. The Kirikan advances for a second time for six. Um, I don't know if I took the right amount or not. Ooh. Okay, let's assume I did. Lowers the tide. Advances. Rawr. Okay. Three cards. Race to the surface. Again, one ember. For each time the Kirikan has advanced this game, it archives one adventure card. So that is two, and I draw that many cards. Yay! I advance a bit as well. Lay of the land, and another gas pipe maloon. Whirlpool Eddy. Okay, no number. And, uh, that goes away. And Emergence. Uh, one ember. Destroy one of my artifacts and exhaust three of my creatures. Okay. Uh, which artifact shall be destroyed? Uh, that's a tough one to pick, actually. Let's go with the Hydro Cataloger. And exhaust three of my creatures. Okay. Kirikan Reaps. Tenacious Arm Reaps. And steals one of my ember. Shield arm reaps. And scaly caper reaps. Then uh, the ascending jet will give the Kirikan with the lowest power. So here we're at 6, 9, 5. So scaly caper gets plus 3 again. Let's keep it with the same color. Alright, that's a real big scary cave. And then Whirlpool Eddy will stun and exhaust one of my creatures that is not already stunned. So let's stun Freebooter Fae. And they're exhausted, yeah. Okay, that is the Kiraken's turn. Alright, so at the end of the turn, boom, shield arm is destroyed. Dealing another 3 damage to Kiraken. So we're at 15, halfway through. We can make it! Okay, let's go with Star Alliance. Ah, oh, but uh, yeah, the Star Alliance Council is not gonna do anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's fixing. Yeah, the Star Alliance Council will work against me in this case, because then it would blast Scarly Caper, and let's actually just keep one of mine. Well, uh, yeah, I could go with Shadows to use the Seeker Needle to blast the Tenacious Arm, finish it off. 
but then I'm not going through my hand very much. <laughs> I do have a lay of the land, so I could draw something. I don't know how many star lines I've played. Well, I could count. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. So, what choice? What to choose? What to choose? <laughs> uh, I think I want to get rid of that tenacious arm. And then I'll keep the Grand Alliance Council for next turn after hopefully more. Kirigan creatures come in. So yeah, let's take its logo Shadows. Alright, play gas pipe Maloon. Use a seeker needle to finish the tenacious arm. So dealing three to the Kiraken. And giving me one ember. Which I will then spend two ember to raise the tide. I've got six cards in hand. Um, yep, yeah, that's it. Okay, so no draw. The Kirakin advances for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, uh, he's one advance away from winning. Oy, 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 oy. This is gonna be tough. And five cards coming up. We have left in its wake, one ember. Uh, hold on, and the tide is lowered because he advanced. Exhaust my most powerful creature and each creature I control that shares a house with it. So, exhaust everything again. Tidal Trouble! Stun my most powerful creature and each creature that shares a house with it! <laughs> Alright! Everybody stunned! Flashing Tentacle! Race to the surface! Remember? For each time the Kirakan has advanced this game, it archives one adventure card, and I draw that mini. Three cards archived, and I draw one hub number, two isotropic core, three the flying specter. So I've got two isotropic cores. Hmm. And then a crushing arm. Alright, the Kirigan reaps. Scarly Caper reaps. Ascending Jet will give 3 plus 1 to the Lashing Tentacle. And then uh, Whirlpool Eddy. All of my creatures are stunned, so that is destroyed and the tide is lowered. Same with this Whirlpool Eddy. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. And then the Lashing Tentacle here is destroyed, dealing 3 damage to the Kirigan. Okay. All right, ay ay ay. Can we make it? Can we make it? I well, I doubt we can now. With so much ember on the Kiraken, he's got ten ember. I've got one card left, which I will draw with Lay of the Land. Uh, but I don't have any sort of ember control. Besides, yeah, I'm gonna raise the tide with ember back. So unless this card has any sort of ember control, I think that's game. Uh, the Logos is not going to help me in any way. I'm a drone, Vespidon Theorist, Australia Seaborg, Flying Spectre, Isotropic Core, Hub Number. Yep, at this point in time, there's nothing I can do besides hoping that whatever I draw is useful. So yeah, let's go Star Alliance. 
Ok. So let's go. Leave the land. Look at the top three cards, and we have a rocket here, Triska. Okay. Okay. Uh, so then uh, the Grand Alliance Council is not going to do anything. So let's discard the Grand Alliance Council. Uh, let's put uh, Embervac on the Freebooter phase, so I raise the tide. Then I can play a Rocketeer Triska, and then the Science Officer King Can, <laughs> who's just going to reap. Yep. And uh, yeah, that's that. Alright. Ready all my stuff. Don't draw anything. And that is game. Kirakan advances one last time. <laughs> Alright, well, that's the closest I've gotten to winning a game so far. Uh, dealing uh, 21 damage. So, yeah. Got almost there, in a way. It's, uh, yeah, it was a tough one, but uh, I, uh, I'm really happy with this deck. I think it's uh, got some cool stuff. The, the Logos uh, board will be a bit slow, but it's got a ton of uh, helper stuff, like two Isotropic Core to make my cards a bit more nasty to deal with, two Seeker Needles to ping uh, little cards, uh, a Flying Spectre that... Well, that works against the opponent raising the tide, but uh, yeah, if I can get it to work, then that's good. But uh, yeah, what I'm uh, most happy about is the Hydro Cataloger with all the tide raising stuff. A bit of board control with the Cement Shoes Booby Trap. Uh, two Biome Discoveries, two Bilge Wardens, a Theory of Contactor, CR Officer Hawkins with a draw. A key cheat that's unlikely to do, but uh, I did lose against a game to it once. My opponent had uh, just, like there were six houses on the board, he had just the right amount of Ember, it was the last turn, he pulled it off just before I would have st took the win instead. So he stole the win from me with a Forging an Alliance. That was absolutely epic. Uh, yeah, so two Ethereal Conjecture. Okay, yeah, nice. That is a cool a cool deck yeah very much so two isotropic core two bilge warden two theory or conjecture including one with a, a ember pip two sicker needles two gas pipe melon two biome discovery yeah a nice nice composition the consistently mousy vendor okay that is a deck that i will very much enjoy exploring further okay well thank you very much for watching this episode of keyflux versus the kiraken i hope you enjoyed it i had a blast always love playing against the kiraken especially when the scally Kappa comes in play that helps a lot and uh yeah discovering decks is so much fun so see you around for the next deck bye bye